We're working here, right? I'm keeping Mr. Hensley framed out for me, not letting him control my head, not letting him flatten me out on the mat, right? All good things I should be focusing on when we're in the half guard, right? Keeping a good attachment with my bottom leg, managing distance with my top leg. All right? So we're here, we're working, and let's say, I don't like Mr. Hensley. I don't think you should be able to wipe his butt nicely. So I wanna, I wanna break this arm, right? Boom. I'm gonna collapse to a wrist here. With that, my top leg's gonna kick up, and I'm trying to put my armpit over the top of his shoulder. Bah! Here. What that's gonna allow me to do is push this wrist and connect my hands. Now, as soon as my hands connect, guys, I'm gonna reclose my half guard. I don't want Jeremy walking around this. Now, sometimes you'll get lucky and they suck at jujitsu and their hands just out, you can finish, right? 90% of the time, they don't suck that bad at jujitsu, right? They don't train here, but they don't suck that bad. So we're here, all we're gonna look to do is I'm gonna look to pull his elbow towards the corner, here. Because what that's gonna allow me to do is to pull at the weak point of his grip. Boom, as soon as it reaches his back, I'm gonna turn my hips, shoulders, and arms all in the same direction. I'm not pushing this with my arms here. I'm turning this with my body. Connecting his elbow to the chin, throttling the wrist forward, pushing this behind his back. I wanna put his wrist right on the back of where his neck meets his shoulders. So I'm here with Mr. Hensley, we're working, boom, bop, here, bop, turn, put it behind his back. Biggest details we were missing on Tuesday with this. One, we were trying to arm turn this. We were like, oh, I'm just a big, dumb, strong guy. I'll just use my arms. Realize, jujitsu's full of big, strong, dumb guys who take a lot, who believe in two things, acai and Jesus. If you don't get the joke, ask later. A lot of guys believe in their acai. Wish I had, didn't have more. But, so, you gotta be technical in this game. Strength helps, technique beats it, all right? So, we're here, I'm moving, we're fighting stuff. Boom, I get this up, I connect my hands. Boom, I break the grip. Turn everything. Once I'm here, behind his back. The other detail I noticed, for whatever reason, we were trying to do it out here. I don't know what was happening here. Chicken wing him up here. Chicken wing. Here, throttle that wrist forward. How much tighter is that in your mouth? So here. This way they're going to straighten their arm out, you're going to have to fight with the whole thing, right? I don't like to work that hard. I would just rather properly kill his range of motion. Questions on this? So are there any worlds where you keep the knee shield almost to like elevate their hips, like their hips to get the hand out? Or is you it can. Bad? So the reason I'm not going to keep a, a knee shield here is I'm more worried about closing. Because what a lot of guys will do here is, let's say I do try to keep a knee shield here, they're gonna work to, one, connect their hands, regrip grip you. If you've never been hitting that, it is violent for no fucking reason. <laughs> Just in, in God's honest truth. So when I'm here, I don't want him to have enough space to connect his hands, so that's why I'm coming here. So is it wrong? No. Do you need to be aware of certain things? Yes. As in all things, counter to the counter, right? That's the only reason I don't like this is. Gives him a lot of space to work here. And if he starts to connect his hands, just exit your wrist. It's just easier that way. If you close up and then get him kind of flat, and then you can somehow insert that again to kind of torque him, is that like, do you think that I wouldn't focus on that motion there. Right. So like if I'm here, just make sure I'm hearing you right. And I start getting him turned, but I focus on getting this back in. Like could you? Could you? Yes. Any would, I, to it, I guess. would I worry about? No. I wouldn't say there's benefits. Right? Not innate benefit initially. Could there be eventually? Yes, but nothing in the immediate is going to. That's not going to help you finish. Yeah. Which you at un, that point you're in the breaking. If you uncross your leg, I'm going to take off. Like, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's what you have to realize, this guys. The sec, the two things they're going to be looking to do, the second your their wrist breaks this hip line, is going to be trying to get that out and run from you. So I'm trying to keep that motion. How many of you are old school UFC fans? Matt Sarah, GSP. Or Matt Hughes, GSP. 
GSP went here. Matt Hughes said, hey, I'm going to walk around and take an arm bar and keep my world title. Thank you. Come again. So that's why I closed that half guard. That way, one, I can control the distance. Also stops a lot of the counter. Other questions here? One, two, three. I think uh, JJ had a question. Oh, fucking speak up, JJ. You're in my blind spot. Come on, man. So, a lot. If you're on top of my, your first, you're playing defense. Your first thing is try to pass the legs or get your hand in. I'm going to protect my hand and beat your knee. So, Kamora defense 101 when you're in half guard, right? He reaches up. I don't like this. Well, first thing I'm going to do is protect my hand. So, I'm going to grab thigh, shorts, feet, his pants. I don't care. Play it however you can. Or, I'm going to connect my hands here. Because if you try to Kamora me from half guard, you probably. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that's always going to be my first option is get this protected. If I still feel like I don't, I can't regrip or can't uh, shoot the hand through or try to, you know, break that grip set, I'm going to wait for him to start to patrol this here, and I'm going to start pulling these hard trying to back step. So you're not going for the forward roll over your protecting yourself first. No. So if I'm here, I get here. You try to forward roll this one? I'm saying before he gets his legs back in. So he says he's opening his half guard to go up, right? Boom. Here. You're forward rolling him with him back down while he doesn't have to pass. Oh, I'm sure. I don't want to. Okay. Because I want to I want to maintain top here. So he if he just connects his hands here, he does not have me under enough threat for me to abandon top here. Now, he gets this here and I can't straighten out or I can't get it. I may dive to hide it again, but that's a great blast in case of emergency defense, not a step one. That's probably in my defensive tree, step four or five, you know, if things going poorly for me before I do that. I'm going to connect my hand. I'm going to try to regrip. If the regrip doesn't work, I'm going to back step. Back stepping doesn't work. I'm going to try to knee cut across. That doesn't work in it if my arm is beat, then I'm going to forward. Yeah, that would be whatever that was. In the chain. Make sense? Other questions, and if you're in my fucking blind spot, speak up. I try to do this, but my neck motion is not that great. Yep. So I'm here. Boom. As always, I like to keep this shin shield right in the, his sternum. Two reasons. One, if I'm really pinned across, a lot of people will smoosh pass. And if I lock here, a lot of people will just pin me. So I like to keep this right in the middle of his sternum because if he tries to push it out, it's got good connection that it's still there, but it's hard to just collapse over the top of. So that's why I like this, I've heard it called a lot, half shield. Uh, you, you've, uh, you can get it called a thousand different things, but that's my typical half, my normal half. Other questions? All right now, one, two, three. Uh, these advice. days, thanks for people. All right, I'm here. I sit up, I get here, boom. Enoch's a big, strong kid, right? He's not just gonna give this up, right? I'm gonna get here, I'm gonna start pulling, and it's just, it's just not there, right? Sometimes people are just dumb strong. Sometimes their acai is just on point, right? So, I get here, I'm gonna try to pull, it's not working, it's not working, he keeps that hand connected, right? So I'm not gonna fight people where they're strong. Why? It's stupid, he's strong here. So we're gonna take him towards shame, because that's just easier. I like to make my life easy. So instead of trying to pull this hand out, I'm going to try to pull it to the side. As I pull it to that side, I'm going to unhook my feet, post this as tight to my butt as I can. Boom. I get here, pull that way, hit bump over. Now you're here. Once you're here, plant it. Or you're in side control. Take side control. I don't care which, but up to you. We're here. Boom. I get to this grip, he doesn't suck, right? He's a big, strong kid, I can't get it. I like to push into people, naturally here, because what's that gonna make Enoch gonna do? Drive in. Guess what that allows me to do? As he drives in, boom. Thank you. Now, once we're here, guys, for efficacy for sake, you finish this the same way you would anything else. Boom, we're here, get it to the mat. Throttle the wrist forward, twist with the chest, put it behind his back. Same way you would finish from top, just upside down. 
questions on this, Mr. Jordan? Is having a, them having a really wide base stop you from moving them there? No, because that push-pull motion, because you're not driving them into that base, so his base is going to be, he goes real wide here, right? Yeah. Boom. I'm not taking him towards this knee. I'm taking him here. To where, his, where if I don't, like let's say I'm here and I go to pull him, he's naturally going to post this hand out, right? That's going to be where I'm trying to pull him to is where that hand is right there. So when I get here, he's got that real wide base. I push into him. That's why it works, even with that wide base. Because <laughs> naturally, think about it as a table. If I'm here, I go real wide, I have my hands real wide. If I get this hand taken away from me and you push me that way, that plus the hip bump is going to be what gives you the sweep. Is that off balancing motion? Make sense? Other questions on this? Would you reinsert your leg for that butterfly hook? I would. You would? Okay. What did he ask? Reinsert for the butterfly. So I'm here. I get here. Would I come back in here? I know you're making an extra step, yeah. I just and it's an extra step, and you're not using the butterfly hook for anything. Because we're going this way. Okay. You're tr you, all you've done is trap your feet underneath you. So if I'm here, if I'm going to reinsert the butterfly hook, it's to stay. It's to come back. Okay. And I'm going to use that to play. If I want the sweep, post and go. That would be the difference. Yes, can you reinsert that butterfly hook? Absolutely. That's definitely an option. Switch into butterfly guard. Attack from there. Is it what we're working? No. Mm -hmm. Not a bad idea, just not the right idea we're on. Other questions? Anyone in my blind spot? JJ, where are you at? <laughs> All right, one, two, three. So I'm here. Boom. We're here, I get my grip. He doesn't suck, he gets here, right? But I don't want to sit here and just crank on it, right? And I don't want to, let's say he's got a good base and I can't get the sweep out, right? Boom, I get here. All I'm gonna look to do is escape this leg and let him kind of start to walk past a little bit. Boom, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my hands here to base him away, swing my feet through. As I get through here, feet come up and bite. And we attack the arm bar. Because magic. So, I'm here, I get this grip up. And let's say I try to base this way, right? Ugh, I can't get the arm out, right? I will do this as a trap, and you guys fall into it far too often. I'll go here, and I'll try to bump you over here, here. And as I push you away, I'm using that to swing my feet out. As my feet swing out, my hips come up, and my hips lift. I have to bite with my hips here. Too many of us, I was watching Tuesday, we're just like hoping our legs would connect here. And look at all that space. I'm here, I connect, my hips come up here. Once I'm here, I pinch the knees. I can try to finish the arm bar from here. If it's not working, hammer your foot down, then finish. And then you look at that and go, this is you. But <laughs> biggest thing with this guys is getting that spin down. So we're here. Boom. I like to walk him over my feet just that little bit. So that way I'm not trying to unpack my feet and all that. But once I'm here, I use that frame to base him. Because now he's he's kind of setting into his heels here, which allows me to spin my legs through and elevate my hips. Bottom knee in the armpit, driving across his chest, top leg snaps up. Once we're here, then you can either fight to finish it here or hammer down, finish it from top. Break the wrist, walk away. Questions on this one, guys? There's one behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, JJ. <laughs> So, because you have your one leg, like your foot wedged under his body, yeah. he's going to be able to come up. Though, is there anything that you're going to do to stop that? Come up as far as? Let me talk about like a hitchhiker now. Oh, yeah, like him hitchhiking out of the actual armbar? Yes, yeah. so that's a very near possibility. Biggest thing on this one is going to be surprise and speed. 
because you don't have all the control in the world when you get through on this one. So when I get to here and I get out, I get here, realize he's going to be in that. You may have to follow, go dummy arm bar. You know, worst case, just take top. <laughs> like, you can't, it, they're going to have some defense there, but a lot of people get trapped and then panic because they went from passing your guard to being on their back in an arm bar. Ideally, you're better than them and you just catch the arm bar, but if they hitchhike you out, you're in top <coughs> position with a nice sweet points and probably an advantage depending on the turn. So. You know, you have the space when you swing by. You take that uh, like inside body leg and put that across as well instead of just going for the knee. So generally, you're not going to have that space because they're going to be following. So if I'm here, boom, I come here. If I can get this foot in, something's going terribly wrong most of the time. So, so I wouldn't be focusing on that. I would more be focusing on getting that knee pinch and attacking this as fast as I can. I want to be, I want by the time he lands, me to be extended. extension, tapped, knees right. pinched. Like that's the goal on this is, this is a quick arm ball. If he defends this, I'm coming up. I'm not fighting for this one. It's a, cool, I got my sweep and I'm going to take top. I'm not going to sit here and try to regrip and refight that one. Right. It misses, I'm coming up. Makes sense for both of your questions. Because that's going to be the common thing. I want him to be tapping as he hits his back there. And if you hit this right, that should be how it works. Okay. Other questions on this? Towards them dropping their hips down, not quite as probably like that kind of motion. Kill it and you just kind of go back to guard at that so, point. So on here, I get my grip. Just make sure I'm hearing you. He starts to drop. Yeah. Okay, okay that makes more sense. <laughs> He drops his hips too far, you take his back. If not, you spin into him. Okay. Worst case, guys, realize you spin back into him and you're facing him. Like that's worst case scenario. He doesn't start working his way around. Stay what's Keep working. So, I mean, you can't get to that place. You still have any other way. Yeah, so let's say I'm here. Right? Look, I'm going to be here. I'm going to force him to step up. So for me, I'm going to do like this. Oh, no. That's terrible. You shouldn't have done that. <laughs> like, I'm going to force them to shake. But realize if you're in a Kimura and someone drops that leg, you're going to try to pass because that's an easy defense for you. All things in jiu-jitsu, if they come too easily, realize they're probably a trap. But if they're not moving, I will hit that almost like a scissor sweep and kick that leg out. Because that's going to allow me to then get that mo it kick starts the motion. And you're also like emphasizing like you're trying to pull my arm out to the top. Yeah, because so realize I'm I'm, I'm committing to the to that Kimura and that sweep first. This is option three. This should not be a game. I reach up against more. I'm always spinning for this. This is the sprinkles, not the ice cream. Okay, do you have another question? Are you sure? <laughs> Please Other questions? Wait, no. <laughs> no? Okay. I'm ready. I'm always ready. All right. One, two, three. I want to go with you, bro. What are you talking about?